So eroticism is not about my relationship to another. Mm -hmm. It's not about my relationship, my man or a partner. It's about my life force energy moving through my body. Mm -hmm. Eroticism is full life force energy moving through the body. Erotic is the body swelling and growing, moving and reaching, literally reaching out with that swelling to be alive in the world and ultimately meet with another body. But it has to start within self. It has to start with each and every single body. And embodiment is full turn on from every single cell of your body vibrating in aliveness, enlivened, lust-filled, emotional. It's a body that is just turned on to life. Yes. And so they go hand in hand because mm -hmm. what we shut down Globally, we shut down the feminine, eroticism, emotions, <laughs> sensuality. Mm -hmm. We shame that. And so in all of us, because we all have masculine, feminine energy, right? Yep. But those more esoteric geniuses of the feminine, they are, they are shut down. Mm -hmm. And that, it, to me, is a crime against human nature. <sighs> Imagine a world where everybody is feminine and w is turned on, where women are free. And safe. And safe and free and, and safe and adored <laughs> and cherished, yeah. elevated, worshipped. worshipped. Imagine that. Let's do it. Let's really imagine, imagine that. Imagine that. Like, honestly, if you're listening Ugh. to this, just like take a moment, close your eyes, and imagine a world mm. where people's masculinity and femininity are both revered mm -hmm. to where we all have the ability to access this polarity, this magnetism, this charge inside of us in a world where people mm -hmm. truly felt mm -hmm. safe in their bodies, that sexuality was not predatory so that we could feel expressed. And just imagine mm -hmm. that level of aliveness, that level of play and fun that we could bring to everything if we weren't all so terrified and traumatized about one of the most creative forces. The beautiful thing is we're all going to have mm. a different version of what that reality looks like. But truly, I invite people to just take a moment, instead of worshiping our worries, instead of worshiping the world that we're afraid of living in, can we just for a moment collectively picture this? Mm.